Once upon a time, in a small town nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a young girl named Emily. Emily was an introverted soul, finding solace in the pages of her diary rather than the bustling world outside her window. Every day after school, Emily would retreat to her room, pen in hand, and pour her thoughts onto the blank pages of her diary. She wrote about her dreams, her fears, and the secrets she dared not share with anyone else. Her diary became her closest confidant, a silent companion in a noisy world. One crisp autumn afternoon, while rummaging through the dusty attic of her old house, Emily stumbled upon a forgotten chest tucked away in a corner. Curiosity peaked, she opened the chest and found an old, leather-bound diary hidden beneath layers of moth-eaten blankets. With trembling fingers, Emily opened the diary and began to read. The words on the yellowed pages spoke of a girl named Clara who lived in the same town many years ago. Clara, too, had sought refuge in her diary, pouring her heart out amidst the turmoil of her own life. As Emily delved deeper into Clara's story, she realized the striking similarities between their lives. Both girls had struggled with loneliness and a sense of not quite fitting in. Both had harbored dreams that seemed too big for their small town existence. But as Emily turned the final page, she discovered a startling revelation. Clara's diary ended abruptly, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and unresolved mysteries. What had happened to Clara? Why had she stopped writing? Determined to uncover the truth, Emily embarked on a quest to unravel the secrets of the past. With each clue she unearthed, she felt herself drawing closer to Clara's story, as if their lives were intricately intertwined across the fabric of time. Through dusty archives and faded photographs, Emily pieced together the fragments of Clara's life, discovering a tale of love, loss, and the enduring power of hope. And in the process, she found herself reflecting on her own journey, realizing that perhaps, like Clara, she was not as alone as she had once believed. In the end, Emily closed Clara's diary with a sense of gratitude and understanding. Though their lives had unfolded in different eras, their struggles and triumphs connected them in ways she could never have imagined. And as she returned the diary to its rightful place in the attic, she knew that their stories would live on, whispering through the pages of time for generations to come.